that oh. uh, segues nicely over to our asshole of the week. The article, uh, aforementioned article written by Paul Sullivan, who I actually had trouble finding that article when it was sent to me uh, text mess- via text message from our buddy Vit. Tried to click on that, and it said, when it jumped me over to Twitter, it said, I can't view this content. And I thought maybe it had something to do with I just fucked up a setting where I don't know if it said. A lot of times I get, <laughs> I get uh, when I have started brand new accounts on Twitter, like when I started up at Sox type thing, uh, I had to change the settings to even see Major League A-holes in the hole because it has we use swear words and stuff like that. And that is not a default. Yes. Yes. So I have to go into the settings and say, yes, I'm, I want to see all content. I'm not scared of a swear word. I thought it had something to do with that where, but it wasn't. In fact, uh, the reason I wasn't able to see Paul Sullivan's contact. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. It's because he has blocked major league a holes in the hole on Twitter. We are officially blocked. Um, I blame myself. <laughs> I have no idea when we were blocked. I don't have any reason to believe it was necessarily recently. Uh, it could have been recently. I, I don't remember the last time I really paid attention to Paul Sullivan. Uh, I don't, I think we were following him at one point just to follow all baseball scribes in Chicago. Um, yeah. At some point, uh, since we started this Twitter account, probably, uh, shit, I think this is one of the first Twitter accounts I started back in probably 2014. At some point in the mitigating eight years, uh, we pissed off Paul Sullivan to the point where he had to block us. Uh, honestly, I'm not making him asshole of the week. I'm not pissed about it. I, I, I find it a uh, badge of honor almost for Paul, Paul to be so riled up that he actually has to block us for whatever reason. Yeah, I mean, Jesus. We just haven't had an asshole of the week for a while, and I can call him an asshole of the week, and he'll never know about it because he has blocked us on Twitter. So, yeah. Uh, I thought it was just interesting, you know, our brushes with celebrity on, on Twitter. Uh, Reggie Jackson followed us for 36 hours and then apparently uh, realized his error and unfollowed yeah, us maybe. immediately. Uh, we may or may not be uh, followed by Bobby Bonilla on a burner account as we are getting text messages from from a uh, an anonymous person who identified himself as Bobby Bonilla. I'm uh, pretty sure that's the our same friend Vit, who I mentioned earlier, sent me the sent me the text with the Paul Sullivan article. But uh, that is our that is our new uh, a new chapter in Major League A holes in the whole Twitter. Uh, Paul Sullivan has officially blocked us, so I'm going to make him our asshole of the week because we can, and he'll never know. And yeah, just, why block us? What what do we do? I mean, we, we were kind of scratching our heads. I have two. Uh, what, I have what could two what could have set him off? I have two different theories. One okay. is simply our name is Major League A Holes, and he's just like, I'm blocking these guys. That is a little caustic. It is not the best branding idea I've ever had uh, to have a mass mass appeal, mass audience, but I, it is definitely on brand for you and I yeah. <laughs> being assholes and rather crass about our, our baseball thoughts. Um, but yes, I think that's a very plausible that he just saw. We are, we are clearly amateurs. Uh, he does not need to see our are shit, uh, but it just seems like an extraordinary move to actually block us when he could have muted us. Yes. Uh, he could have completely ignored us. It's not like we show up. We're not the largest Twitter follow in the world. So I think our content is probably easily ignored if he wanted to, but he felt yeah. he, he needed, he needed to do that. What, what's your second theory? Well, my second theory was when I was blasting him last year, when, or even maybe even a little bit longer, maybe even been towards the the in the early stages of this podcast, but somehow due to lack of personnel, a lifetime Cubs beat reporter gets moved over to the White Sox. Oh, now I he's covering all about the that. White Sox. Okay, and it was such biased writing, and mm. I kept bringing it up that like the Tribune really needed to hire a White Sox beat reporter because there's always like these underlying jabs put in, which, well, which he, I is, get. he is the most sarcastic, you know, big, big name reporter I've, I've ever run across. So if he's sarcastic towards the Cubs, I can only imagine what he's, what his sarcasm felt like for Sox fans. Yeah. So, it, you know, and I had commented about it uh, over a, a few different podcasts, um, so if he actually did take the time to listen before he blocked us, that that could have been another reason because a lot of these guys have uh, 
very, very thin skin when it comes to accepting oh, yeah. criticism. So. I'm sure I don't remember that, but I'm sure at the time we probably tagged him somehow in our tweet. Yes, so maybe that's exactly maybe that's how we got on his radar, but we were definitely on his radar at some point uh, to get yeah. him to to actually block us. So but I think it's the latter. Uh, what I meant, not the latter, what I, the, 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 what I initially mentioned, like he just sees the name and he's like block you. Yeah. You also had a, a habit, uh, a while back of referring to almost every prominent baseball not, journalist as a hack. Uh, well, I, then it episodes. became, it became funny. So I just started <laughs> calling, I called like Buster only as a joke, a hack in one episode, um, <laughs> Well, I don't. Th I think in but, two episodes uh, you actually did, but uh, I haven't seen the yeah. Bus Buster only is. I don't think he's blocked us yet, so that's all. Nah, right. he. I, it wasn't just for, <laughs> well, for only. That's why I think uh, it's it's easier to make Paul Sullivan our asshole of the week.